Hey folks, I've got just a quick little video for you. I've got some new arrivals today, but these are not new trains. This is new lighting equipment. I've got a ring light and a couple of LED lighting panels in these boxes. And this is aimed at fixing some of the lighting issues that I have in some of my videos, especially when I'm working in my garage workshop, but also on the layout as well. And the thanks for this new equipment goes to my Patreon supporters. I started up a Patreon account maybe a year or two ago, and I'm really happy to say that I've gotten some generous support, and that has allowed me to get stuff like this that is aimed at improving the channel and making things better. Hey, Chessie. <laughs> He's got to show off. He's got to be part of the video. But yeah, so we've got some new lighting equipment, and this wouldn't happen without the generous support of Patreon supporters. So if you're a current Patreon supporter of this channel, I'd like to give you a big thank you. And if you're not, and you'd like to support this channel, go to patreon.com slash ericstrains. And don't forget that Patreon supporters get lots of little bonuses for their support, and you can read about those benefits on my Patreon page. Anyway, let's go ahead and open up these boxes and check out the new lighting equipment. All right, so let's see what we have here. Well, doing one of these channels is not all about trains. It's also about getting the stuff to make the videos about the trains. This is a light stand, eight feet. It's probably for the ring light. Yeah, I think this is the light stand for the ring light. This box is pretty heavy. Let's see what's in here. It's a case of something. All right, so we got two more stands. Oh, these are the LED light panels. Yeah. So there's one of them. Folds out like that. And there's your LED light panel. GVM, great video maker. And I'm assuming this is power cables. Yeah. Right on. All right, let's see what's in the final box. This should be the ring light. Yep. So there's the ring light that goes on that stand. Okay, so here is the light ring. It's an 18 inch light ring. And if you come around the back, it's got adjustments for temperature and brightness. And it's also got a camera mount. It's got two mounts actually. So pretty neat. So let's put the camera on the mount and I'll show you how it works. So here's what it looks like with the ring light off. It's not bad, and in fact, my iPhone is probably correcting a bit for the dim light, but it could be better. So let me go ahead and turn the ring light on and you can see the difference. Well, and there you have it, big difference. You can probably see the ring light in both of my eyes. That's one of the hallmark effects of these ring lights. And like I said, it's adjustable, so I can adjust the brightness, which it's pretty darn bright already or I can adjust the temperature. So right now it's a cool white, but I can turn that down to where I like it, which is a nice, soft, warm light like that. Pretty cool. 
And of course, the ring light is not just for on-camera speaking parts. You can use it for regular video shoots too. So here's sort of a dark area of my layout in the hallway room. And if I turn on the ring light, you can see it's much better. Now we're in my garage workshop where I often have to deal with dim lighting and hard shadows because of the way the overhead lighting in the garage is set up. And so for that, I've got the LED panel lights that I showed you, there's two of them. So right now the workbench is kind of a mess, but this will do fine for just a demo. You can see it's okay, but you can't see a lot of details and it's a little dim. So let me go ahead and turn on the LED panels. There's one and there's two and you can see much better. They've also got some interesting and fun lighting modes on these LED light panels. Now, if you're sensitive to flashing lights, you might want to skip this section of the video, but here we go. So they've got a mode called lightning, which is like flashing lightning. Then they've got cop car, <laughs> candle, kind of like a slow wavering flickering candle light. I'm not sure if you can see the wavering light on the video. TV, a bad bulb, like a flickering bad bulb and a sign. <laughs> Party, disco, paparazzi, like a camera flash, and then back to lightning. Here's a look at the back of one of these LED lighting panels. Now, obviously I just got this. I haven't read all of the instructions yet, so I don't know all the ins and outs about what these things can do, but you've got the adjustment knobs and the mode selection, the Wi-Fi mode. If you have more than one of these lighting panels, you can actually connect them together and have them function in concert and control all of them from one location. And you've also got a battery option too, although it doesn't come with the batteries. You have to buy those separately. But yeah, I think these are pretty cool lighting panels. I am no lighting expert, nor do I claim to be. I'm just trying to get some better lighting for my videos. That's what this is all about. And thanks to the generosity of my Patreon supporters, I'm now able to do that to get stuff aimed at growing the channel and making it better. So again, if you are a Patreon supporter of my channel, I'd like to give you a big thank you. And if you're not, once again, you can become a supporter at patreon.com slash Eric's Trains. Anyway, that's all I got. I just wanted to show you the new lighting setup. I'm really excited about it. But that's it for now. I'm Eric Siegel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.